Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doki Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at basically what you should be doing currently in DBZ Doki Metal. Now obviously it's part one of the worldwide celebration. I think we've got a little bit less content than we would like comparative to the previous years. I'm hoping part two really picks that up and we should start to get some content leaking through hopefully soon. One of those being hopefully immediately after expiration part two of the ultimate clash but for now try to make sure that you do the ultimate clash for the current part one while it is up in terms of the actual story events barring farming super attacks which we we're talking about just now your main concept should be getting the tech paragus apparently he's not going to easy air this celebration it feels like but he could potentially still get a lot more added to his event I believe we will be getting a freezer on Monday and so in that way we could get some really cool uh, new free to play units. Obviously at this point you want to also work on the Extreme Z battles, Turles and the Int Broly even though a lot of people are not too keen on them. Make sure that you're doing your daily growth events, make sure that you are completing all your growth events as much as you can for that easy XP, rewards, skill orbs and obviously dragon stones. Then, on top of all of that, new missions have been added to the Intensive Growth missions and the Skill Orb ones, so there's an incentive to farm those again. Then, we also have, of course, the new Challenge events. Mainly Memorial Battles, the Devil event, and some new Blue Zones. Generally speaking, we've actually got a pretty decent chunk of content. We've got six Memorial stages and we've got uh, three Blue Zone stages. Now, it's just the beginning section, so we don't have the super hard ones yet. But they are still pretty tough, especially if you're a new player. So you should be able to spend some time taking them on and trying to earn some good rewards. Of course, that's not all you can be doing right now. If you're looking to expend some stamina, or you're just looking to catch up on content, support boosts, IDBH, SBR, ESBR, and pretty much everything else is available to you. There have been updates to the majority of them. You can also spend stamina farming super attacks or alternatively farming currency from the path to ultimate power event to potentially grab yourself some Kai's and Elder Kai's. That's currently the only real currency that's up for grabs. There are red stones and such, but I would only really trade them in after we see what's going to happen with part two. So you can hold on to that. Maybe you've managed to earn yourself some more tickets or maybe you've managed to grab some more treasures somewhere. But generally speaking, there's not a lot of farmable currencies or anything to really dig your teeth into. Then, outside of that, there's the usual suspects in terms of what to do. You can catch up on DB Story events. Maybe you haven't done the Devil Man event, the Baba Clash event that has come out. Maybe you have, maybe you're caught up there. Then, of course, you can look at link leveling, which is everyone's favorite sideline activity, of course. So there's that that's fully available. Then you also obviously have the ability to actually summon. Now if you have enough currency to summon, good for you. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot more stones to pick up right now. So a lot of people are pretty strapped for stones. So I understand people not really fully summoning in on this banner. So for me, bye.